Hi friends, it's J Cubed Apps, but you can call me Jeremiah. And today we're going to be talking about whether you should use Swift UI in your production application. Before we get into things, comment down below. Let me know, are you using Swift UI currently or do you plan to in the immediate future add Swift UI to your applications? Swift UI was announced at the keynote for WWDC 2019. It is a framework from Apple. It allows us to write our user interfaces in a declarative way. So we're going to tell Swift UI what we want it to do versus the imperative UI kit way where we have to tell it how we're going to do it. Swift UI was built from the ground up to leverage all that Swift has to offer. It was built in Swift for Swift. UI kit is very old and it was built in the Objective C days and it uses those patterns from Objective C. And UI kit was not made for Swift. They've done a great job bringing it over to Swift but it was not written in Swift for Swift. Now, Apple has a tagline that they're giving Swift UI, and they say, better apps, less code. Now, do I agree with that? Better apps, better apps, I think, is very subjective. There is a lot of great apps out there built using UI kit. Swift UI is not going to necessarily make your app better. You have to take that extra step. You have to write that code, that better code, those better UIs, those better experiences for the user to make a better app. So I think that's very subjective. I think that's a marketing phrase that they're using. Now, less code. I've been using Swift UI for a little while and I 100% believe that it is less code. You're not using Interface Builder. You're not writing your UI and code where you have to create all these constraints and add all these constraints to all these different views to get everything to look right. So it definitely is less code. That part of the tagline is correct. Now let's just, let's look at the pros. I mean, I, mean, I guess less code can, can, can be a pro, but we're going to leave that out of the pros. Faster development of your user interface. This is huge. Swift UI has a live preview in Xcode. And as you change your UI, it will update in the live preview. You don't have to rebuild the app. You don't have to run the app just to see, did the, does this corner radius look right? Is this label pixel perfect to where the designer said it should be? Now you can see it right now in the live preview and that saves so much time. This is a huge pro for me and I love the live preview feature. Now there are times when your app will have to recompile, such as if you change your model or your business logic, something to that extent, your app will need to recompile to show you this live preview, but there are huge gains in this live preview, this dynamic replacement that Xcode is giving us that shows us what the UI looks like. And I love this feature. The other pro is that it's one UI for all the platforms. So you can write a UI component and it, it can run on your iPhone. It can run on your Apple Watch. It can run on your Apple TV, or it can run on your Mac. You can use one list and it displays appropriately for the different platforms. This is huge for writing cross-platform code, and this is great for reusability. You don't have to rebuild your UI every time when moving to different platforms. I love this as well. I hate having to recreate the wheel every time I go to a new platform to fit into their user interface. Now we're going to get onto a few cons for Swift UI, but before we do, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up down below, hit the subscribe button for me and hit that bell, turn those notifications on. I really appreciate it. Some of the cons for Swift UI, this is the big one. This is a huge one. Incomplete. It has an incomplete collection of components. It was announced in 2019. It had several components available. 
It has list, H stack, V stack, scroll view, navigation view, all these things to make an application. But it doesn't have everything. There's no outline group for Mac. There's no multi column containers for your layout. There's these other different things that are all missing. A lot of them are coming out this year in 2020. We don't have them yet for 2019. They will be available later this year when iOS 14 and Big Sur release, but it's still incomplete even when those come out. There's still so many things that we need to come to SwiftUI from UIKit. Also, it's still new. SwiftUI has been out all of one year. There are so many questions people have that have not been answered or questions that people are gonna have that haven't been answered yet. So SwiftUI is still immature in that manner, in support, in Stack Overflow questions, in being able to find help on how to do things, best practices. They're out there, some of them are out there, but it's not as rich as it was for UIKit. UIKit has been around for a long time, there are lots of questions that have been asked. There are lots of best practices that have been defined and determined, and it makes developing in UI kit a lot easier in that aspect. So you've got to keep that in mind is you may hit a snag and may have a hard time finding out how to work around that snag or fix that snag. Also, there's bugs. It's, it's only been out a year. They've only been to the masses for a year, there's going to be bugs. There's going to be issues with it. You're going to have to keep that in mind. Should you use Swift UI in your production app? I say yes, 100%. Use it in your production app. Don't try to create a Swift UI app. Don't throw all your UI kit code away and go strictly Swift UI. Take Swift UI, add it into your app. Use it where it makes sense. It is a great tool for creating user interfaces. It will help you create them faster and leaner than in UIKit, but it's not 100% ready. And the great thing is Apple has made it fairly straightforward to implement Swift UI views into AppKit or UIKit. So use Swift UI. Use it where it makes sense. It is going to be the future of the platform. That is the direction Apple is headed. Start getting used to it now. All right, everybody, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it, and I will see you next time.